I'm still reminding you, you are watching The Orange Couch on Afronova TV. So, welcome back. Uh, Roman, you are under 25 years. Yeah. You own businesses, living at Trazaco. Mm -hmm. How can someone like my age be this kind of rich? Um, <laughs> um, the honest question, which is not a popular one, um, okay. it would be like spending time alone, um, figuring spending out. Spending time alone. Yeah, okay. spending time alone, figuring out what your skill, what your passion, you know, what it is that God is speaking to you about. I would say you first have to learn the principles of being a servant. Then you have to learn the principles of being a manager, what it takes to be a very good manager. I've learned that in every single business, every single company, every single corporation, they are very short on high level managers. What is a high level manager? A high level manager is somebody who serves with excellence. Not too many people out there who have that attitude, who have that mindset. But that's what has brought me here to my success. That's what has allowed me to accomplish so much is having a servant attitude and then having the management skills. And management is all about being organized, being on time, being very punctual, coming dressed nice, being on time, okay, Ghana, on time, <laughs> right? Right, yeah, Ghana has a big issue, issue with, with time. With, with time. I, not my dance academy though, they show up early, thank God, so that's good. Seriously, like, you can start at a small company being the best servant, being the best manager, and committing to excellence. What, what really developed those character uh, qualities inside of me is okay. I will go to work with the mindset that I was serving God, right? And when you go, with, when you go to work serving, serving the Lord, nothing people do phases how you respond. So in a sense, let's say your boss comes in and he yells at you for not doing something right. At the end of the day, you can either say, well, wow, like that really hurt. Like now I'm frustrated, now I'm mad. Now I'm gonna like, you know, I'm not gonna do this job. Uh, you know, like you can have an attitude, but if you have the attitude that you're serving the Lord, you say, okay, God, like, what do you want me to do? Because this is frustrating. Like he's, he's, he's giving me attitude. He's giving me this, like, Lord, what do you want me to do? and it changes the whole situation. I've had that situation happen multiple times where I was working at a small business, the boss would come in, yell at me for something so simple that wasn't even my fault, like seriously. And I would take it personal because it's like, I'm doing the best that I can. And you, you know, you're gonna come to me with this, this attitude, you? this frustration, you know, like at least talk to me like a civilized human being. And I would go to God and I would say, Lord, like, I can't keep doing this, like this, this is, I can't do this, like I just don't, I don't feel like I can do this. God would literally have the boss come to me, apologize, fix the situation. Wow. Yeah, like seriously. And I mean like it changes everything. So when you go to work with the mindset that you're serving God and not the people, like you'll go so much further. I, work, I started working at this company in 2019 with that attitude and in less than six months, they wanted to hand me the keys to the business. They wanted me to close the shop. They wanted me to open shop. They wanted me to spend more time. So, and this is in an industry that I've never worked in. This is in a restaurant. Like I've never wanted to be a chef. I've never wanted to cook food for people. But I started working at a restaurant, scrubbing stoves, mopping floors every single night with the attitude that I'm serving the Lord and not people. And I think I turned down the keys three times because I didn't want to run a business. I wasn't there to to take over, I don't want to be a restaurant owner. That's <laughs> Even though that's cool, like restaurants are very purposeful, but that's just not what I see myself being. But that attitude um, is what got me this far. So 